Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Do you need to cut out your furry friend from a photo to put it into a flasher background? Selecting fur can be a challenging problem for any photo editing tool, especially if the fine strands lack well-defined edges that can be differentiated from the background. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to use the tools of Pixelmator Pro for selecting fur. So let's get right into it. The first tool is called Magic Background Eraser. Magic Background Eraser allows you to remove any background from an image with just a click. Pixelmator says they've trained a neural network to find the subject in pretty much any image and automatically remove the background. So this first option, Magic Background Eraser, is the easiest to use and the most convenient if you just want to cut out your furry friend. So here we are in Pixelmator Pro. What I want to do here is to replace the original background with a different image. If you look at my layers panel, you can see that I have another photo sitting below the original photo. If I hide the top layer, you can see what the substitute background is supposed to look like. So let's just try to cut out this dog here. So all you need to do is to right click and just choose remove background. And there you go. You can see it did a pretty good job and no issue cutting out the fur. So the main problem here is if there was any error in the way the background was erased, there's no way to fix it because this is a destructive adjustment. You have to live with the results. But fortunately for this image, this was perfectly done. So that's the magic background eraser. And so that brings us to the second option for selecting fur, and that is the select subject. Select subject is a feature for automatic subject selection. With just a click, you can make a selection of the subject of any image. Unlike a magic background eraser, select subject would be a more flexible operation because you can go back and refine the selection. How do you access select subject? So all you need to do is press Q on the keyboard to bring back quick selection. From this panel, it gives you a select subject button. So let's just click on that. Select subject uses pretty much the same logic as remove background. But unlike that, you have the option to make further adjustment. You can see here, the body is not accurately selected. To fix this error in the body being incorrectly selected, we can use the quick selection tool. Make sure that add here is selected, and then we can just brush on the image and correct the errors. Now once we have the selection, of course, we can create the mask in order to blend it with the layer below. And so we can just right click the top layer and just click add mask. And you can see that the selection is done pretty well. However, there's one more step remaining to make this blend even better and that is decontaminate colors. So as you can see, when I did the select subject and when I removed the background from an image, the object left behind have traces of the previous background around its edges. If you look closely at the hair, the hair has certain remnants of the previous background. If you recall, the previous background uh, had a bluish color and you can see that it's still reflected here. The remnants of that blue background still exist in the hair. So decontaminate colors is an AI powered tool which automatically removes these traces so objects blend seamlessly with any new background. This is done automatically when you use the magic background eraser. But the good news is you can also apply it yourself to any layer, even the ones that have been cut out in other apps. Click on the top layer, click on format, click on image, and then just choose decontaminate colors. The operation is done. And notice that the mask at the top layer where we apply decontaminate colors has disappeared. As you can see, decontaminate colors is a destructive operation. Let's inspect the difference now. Now 
All right, let's try to do the same select subject with this dog image now. This dog is a little bit harder because the fur here is blowing in the wind and it's all over the place. But let's see whether select subject can deal with it. So once again, let's bring out the quick selection tool. Press Q on the keyboard, then just click select subject. To be able to see whether the selection is precise, we can now use another tool of Pixelmator Pro, and that's the Select and Mask tool. Let's just click on Select and Mask. And what is this Select and Mask tool? The Select and Mask tool makes it possible to make very accurate selections of any object. This is designed to make it easy to select the most difficult areas, like hair, fur, and objects with very complex edges. So the first thing we see here is the overlay, this red background you see here. What you want to do here is select an overlay which allows you to see the selection better. So let's just zoom in a little bit and see if there's anything wrong with this image. Inspecting it magnified, we see that there are some errors in the selection. The best way to fix this is through the Refine Edge brush. So this brush is designed to be used specifically on tricky edge areas and create accurate selections of those areas by simply brushing over them. You just want to brush at the edge of your selection and hopefully this tool, the Refine Edge Brush tool, will correct these mistakes. Now I like to use a soft brush so that the refinements are not too harsh. We have also another type of brush, and this is just the basic brush, which has no edge detection. So if you can see here, there are some errors. We could use the quick selection brush or just simply the basic brush. The basic brush is just like the quick selection brush, except that there is no edge detection. It will not try to snap to the edges. All right, I think that's good enough. Of course, you can go as detailed as you want. For our purposes here, this is a good enough selection. Once you're done, you have a few choices to output the selection. I'll just show you the, the most flexible output, which is the one I recommend, and that's just to output to selection. So I'll just click Apply to that. And you can see the red overlay is gone, and all we're left with is just the selection. So if you blend the two layers, all you have to do is just right click and just click add mask. And there you go. So I hope this video was helpful. And do let me know if I missed any other important tool for selecting fur in Pixelmator Pro. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to help keep the videos coming. And till the next video, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.